Well, guys, Diane Abbott, the gift that keeps on giving, has decided to once again show us what you get when MPs are chosen to tick boxes and not for their intelligence or skill at anything, unless it's race baiting, of course. Well, you're not wrong. Yeah, Diane does that with the best of them, as you know, but unfortunately, that's about all she does well, except, of course, make herself look stupid, and this here is no exception. It all fell apart for her this time as she raged about Lee Anderson telling migrants to fuck off back to France. This naturally got her salty before she then found out 41 new Labour voters died on their way into Europe and her single brain cell sparked into life so she got tweeting. This it seems turned out to be a massive mistake because the complete idiot tweeted out this thinking it would own Lee Anderson when really all it did was own her bloody self. These migrants have indeed fucked off to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> You're an imbecile. Well, just wow, tell me you were hired to tick a box without telling me you were actually hired to tick a box. I mean, imagine thinking mocking 41 dead migrants to attack your political rival was ever going to go damn well. But I'm sure Diane Abbott did the maths in her head, worked out that 5 add 6 equals 72 and dived right in the complete brain lit. You went full retard, man. This she soon found out was a massive miscalculation as she rapidly deleted the tweet, but thankfully half the internet had already taken receipts of her stupidity. I mean, imagine supporting illegal immigration and while defending that choice you mocked the dead people you wanted over here. Yeah, the irony of her stupidity is not lost on me and always brightens up my day, but her PR team must be having shit fits any time she picks up her phone to tweet. They are probably the only people who doesn't like to see the idiot stick her own two left feet in her mouth, but maybe it's impossible to stop her. Now, on top of this, I am actually seeing people saying the Labour Party should kick her out, but I'm sure they already did that as she's currently an independent, though to be honest, I don't think they should actually kick her out. Personally, myself, I think they should keep her because she suits them down to the ground and, let's be honest, is comedy bloody gold. I mean, imagine owning yourself because you got salty, someone said what the public thinks and in doing that, you mock dead brown people, so much for BLM hey, Abapotamus. This, though, is the sort of stupidity politics needs because it might wake people up to the imbeciles. We've got vying for power in this country. Shit, if that don't, I have no idea what will. Pandemic. Where are